Hi, I'm Justin Roy with CK Supply. Today we're going to be going over Blue Flame Plus in comparison to acetylene gas. So if you take a look, we have our oxygen cylinder, our Blue Flame Plus. If we take a look at the hose, when you go from an alternative fuel gas to acetylene, there's two different grades of hoses. Um, there's several grades, but uh, our RM grade is going to be used for acetylene only, and a T grade hose, um, which has a different neoprene liner on it, on the inside, that's going to be used for your alternative fuel gases. So you want to make sure you have the correct hose. We have an alternative fuel gas regulator installed on and our tank. And we have our oxygen regulator. If we take a look at the torch, we're going to be using a different tip on our torch compared to an acetylene, which is a one-piece tip. This is now going to have a two-piece tip. Okay, so right now we have a number one tip in here, which is close to our thickness of material that we're going to be cutting. So the first thing we want to do is set our pressures correctly. So using a tip chart, it's going to give me the recommended pressures. According to the tip chart, it's going to be about 35 on the oxygen and about 5 on the fuel gas. So I'm going to turn the cylinder all the way on, on the oxygen side. Then I'm going to come over to the fuel gas. I'm going to crack it open about one turn. Now I want to set my pressures. We have about 35 PSI. And we have five on our fuel gas. So now I'll put my protective clothing on, got my jacket, my cutting shield, I got some safety glasses, I got some gloves. Now this torch is gonna light different than you're used to with acetylene. There's a few different ways to light the blue flame fuel gas. The first way is if you conventionally light it like you would acetylene, you just turn the fuel gas on only, you see that the flame burns pretty far away. Okay, in a, in a windy condition, the flame will blow out. So this is the way that I typically don't recommend to do that. Now if you do turn it on and you have the fuel gas coming out, the next best thing you can do is take it to the material that you're going to cut, so that way you can bring, bring the heat back to the tip. So if I lay it on the steel, I slowly turn on my oxygen. To bring the flame to the tip. All right, preheat oxygen, fuel gas, the torch, a little bit of a pop. That way in case you are outside, now you don't have to worry about the flame blowing away from the torch. When you adjust it, you're going to adjust each knob slightly. Fuel gas, more oxygen, more fuel gas, a little bit more oxygen. Now you can hear it's whistling, it's getting really loud. When you adjust the cutting oxygen, okay, as I hit the cutting oxygen, it's got a long flame. Okay, the long flame is it very desirable for manual cutting because all that heat will come back from your hand. So if you turn it, the oxygen on slightly more, then the heat pattern will be reduced so you don't have as much radiant heat coming back from your hand. Let's move the material, let's cut. Hopefully, this little demonstration helped you. If you have any other questions, look at our website. And if you need any further assistance, please feel free to call us. Thank you and have a nice day.